ladies and gentlemen, it's about to go down. Correct? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, we didn't get a hidden chest or three Momo objects, and we didn't finish the quest. We're going to go back. Just kidding, we're not going back. Fuck that. 91% is close enough. Yeah, I gave up on that. I didn't give up on that. I'm just hungry and I want to watch basketball. But I still love all of you. Don't think I'm oh, selling you short. You. I'm talking to your fans, not you. Something glitched there. Something always glitches anymore on this thing. Oh, right. Steph. Hey, who's touching my boomerang? My boomerang. They're in for some deep shit. <laughs> and the lights just come on to reveal that. How did Sokka know someone was touching his- You know, I'm, I'm gonna pause it, just to explain this. How did someone- How did Sokka know that someone, um, was touching his boomerang? The boomerang isn't part of his body. Well, I mean, it's on something that is, is, is attached to his body. Yeah, but you didn't say, like, you, you know, you know what I mean, right? No, because if you have something, like, hooked to your back like that and someone does... I shouldn't have even paused. I don't even care, Rick. Let's just go. The Dreadnought. So is this the final thing? Oh, right. It took me so long to realize that. But yeah, you'll see. So much harder. Oh, hello. Oh, that sucks. It just shit them out. No, it doesn't. Watch this. <laughs> oh, did it leave one? I got smacked. Hit it with a tornado. Good idea. Oh my god. What? Why the fuck did I ever do that before? <laughs> Well, it was done, clown. Wait, shouldn't there be a... I thought there was like a cutscene there. This video was going to be five minutes long. Wait, there should have been a cutscene there, I thought. I, you would think that... Oh, well, fuck this game. Fuck this GameCube. Fuck your recording gear. Fuck, fuck my couch. <laughs> Can Haru, who opens the doors? Haru? Dry Saka? You know what? Just for the shits and giggles. It's gonna be Aang. Well, we're fucked. I don't know why I... I think I just need to go straight to this store. I don't know why there's an option to open these then, though. Is that the exit? Well, I guess I can shove my head in it. Whatever it is. That probably was the exit, actually, because there's no door over here. Yeah. Okay, we're heading this way. Follow me. Okay. What's this? She needs to read it? No. Follow me. Alright, so... We're gonna earthbend this door now. Now that he has the move. I don't know why he needed a move to open a door, but... And why a move to open a door was on a sacred scroll. Tell shit's about to get real just by the music.
There goes that. Well, that killed the mood. If I step back up here, will it continue? Nope. This thing is glitching the fuck out. What's happening? Between invisible animals and music, not musicking. Ultimate. I assume this is going to take a while. Just use the tornado, that'll probably take half of it off. No, I need to wait for the thing to thing to do its whatever. Just so that I mean. Oh. Well, they're screwed. We need to wait for it to do its earth-based attack, which takes, which does like once in a blue moon, so. Until then, we just need to walk in a circle around it. Oh, hello. You know, how did she, uh, oh, there we go. Like, how did she get these things to start, like, doing airbending and shit? Oh my god. We just took out like half of the final boss almost. That is a great attack. It's all about the tornado. But yeah, like how is she getting these things to do airbending? She doesn't have an airbend. Unless she needs a bender to make the machines. Wait, what? She needs a bender to make the machines, I thought. Like, yeah. why, how is it airbending? She doesn't have an airbender. True. Fuck this game's logic. Fuck any game's logic, actually. <laughs> they just start attacking and let's do more damage. Get in those two tornadoes. Finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it. Yes! <laughs> this is why did why how come every time I played this game before, I never thought to use a tornado. Oh, Peru's dead. Is dead. <laughs> the slow motion, just generic. Katara. Oh, 
Uh oh. Get done fucked up. Satan. I would like to point out that, um. You wonder why this is possible? What? Why this is happening? Because we freed her from that prison back in the second level. True. We did this to ourselves. And actually, the Fire Nation would have just had the machines, though, then. Because they were forcing her to make the machines for them. So then it would have been a lot worse, probably. So never mind. Forget that I said that. But still. It's like the Legend of Zelda. Like, when you're trying to save the world, but you just make it worse. And then you have to fix it again. How oh, he is. <laughs> when the weed hits you. <laughs> this battle right here. What is Everything that's happening right now is what happens when the weed hits you. <laughs> so it seems like a good song a song that would be great for the 2k soundtrack yeah chiggity choco the truck quit chicken that's the nut inside your eye to show you where i come from look at that oh i'm wrecking this thing this thing's done oh yep hope oh, i don't have anything assigned there Wait, why can I? I don't get it. Why can I water bend? But it gives me two air bending moves, and then it assigns like two different air bending moves, and then it assigns one water bending move to me. Like, wouldn't it make sense to assign a fire one, an earth one, and a water one along with an air one? Oh, it's stuck. He's stuck on something. Okay. Chicken, chocolate, chocolate, chicken. Oh, that tornado, though. Yeah, you, know, you still get the tornado. Oh my god, look at how much damage it just did. You done, clown? Nope, he's not done, clown. Let the last move of this game be a tornado, Rick. No, it's gonna be that. No. Tornado, come on, tornado, tornado, tornado! Do the tornado, but it died. <laughs> Rest in peace, the maker. And Sokka, the only one left, unhurt. When the weed hits you. Hit the weed head. When the weed hits you. When the weed hits you and then there's a complete buzz kill, that would be Sokka. We're just gonna leave the other two there with the waterbender and the Fire Nation guy. They're irrelevant. They're doing, gonna do the biz nasty. Uh, yeah. What, all four of them? Nope, just Sokka and Haru. Rage. Infinite rage. Uh oh. <laughs> Where the hell did he come from? <laughs> he just crawled out of nowhere. his ponytail and bald head otherwise. We did it. Rick, one final high five.
All right. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, you're gonna do the sound effects. Great. That's that's what I call air horn bending. Ah, uh, we're done. We're done, clown. I could close the credits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How many games do you see that offer that option? None. All right, guys, that's gonna be it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this series. If you have, all the way through, and I enjoyed this game. This show is one of my favorites of all time, and getting the chance to play the game all the way through again was awesome. Rick, thanks for joining me on this ride. You're welcome. And, uh, all right, we're going to end it here, and we're going to see what other series we can have for you soon. Wait, I have something to say. Oh, my God. <laughs>